name is Ryan Eaton. I am a crime scene specialist for the Phoenix Police Department. A typical day I come in and that phone could ring right away and it's one of our detectives calling and we have some scene out in Greenway and 67th Avenue. You never really know where you're gonna go. It's a, it's a very kind of fly by the seat of your pants. You have to be really, really adaptive to change and you never really know what you're gonna come into. Um, there's been many times where I've, I've come into work and hey Ryan, can you go in vehicle examination B, bay number two? There's, there's a, a, a Ford SUV in there I need you to process. It was involved in an aggravated assault. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking what we call overall photographs of the vehicle that was towed here from a crime scene. From there, there is items of evidence that I've marked with yellow numbered placards that could be pertinent to the investigation based off of information I have received during our case briefings from detectives and police officers. Processing these vehicles, thinking outside of the box and trying to piece, piece it together and think about what I was given, what, what could possibly be evidence. So that could possibly be the suspect's DNA, putting him on the shirt, and then the, the victim's shirt, which ties them together, that, which says that at least there was possibly some contact between the two. I have always had uh, a love and a passion for photography. Photography is like the, is the backbone of what we do. We do that at every single scene. In instances where I believe I have a possible blood stain, which I would want to collect off of this vehicle, there is a color chemical test that we can do out in the field. It's a multiple step process in which I take two sterile swabs, I apply distilled water onto it, then I approach my stain, and I just need to take a little sample of it to be tested, then I apply three more chemicals to the sample. This first chemical is an ethanol solution. The second chemical is the actual Kasselmeyer solution. And then the third is a hydroperoxide solution. After applying this chemical, if it turns bright pink within 10 seconds, it's usually pretty immediate, then that is a presumptive positive for blood. So in this case, since I got a positive result, it could possibly be blood. I definitely want to have that looked at by the forensic biology section. You got to be really personable and, and be willing to learn. You have to be a sponge. This is not the kind of career where you can come in and you think you know it already. It's, it's really not. You're learning new stuff every day. I've been doing this for seven years. I could go to a scene in 30 minutes, 40 minutes of the phone rings, and it could be a whole new world all over again. It's, it's very rewarding, it's very, very tedious, very detailed, very long hours, and you know, of course, uh, the grand stage is testifying in court. All these, this work, these hours and hours on the scene, no sleep, getting up in the middle of the night, it all comes together for court, and it could be very, very rewarding when all of this work that you did, I saw this blood sample, I got it tested, it was the suspect.